Hey guys, have you ever heard of your coach saying, hey, you gotta shorten up your backswing and make sure you have a short backswing, short backswing, short backswing. But if you look at professional tennis players, do they really shorten up their backswing so much or they actually have a pretty big backswing? That's the question we're gonna answer today. So you gotta stick, stay tuned, and make sure we're gonna cover all that part. So in a few seconds, you'll see a slow motion on the forehand that has really short backswing and the regular forehand with a lot bigger backswing. You will tell me which one you like better. I'm pretty sure you're gonna uh, choose the one that has a bigger backswing. And why? Because it looks more natural, you get more power, the racket at speed is faster and your body transfer is better. So now, do you really take a short backswing or not? So a lot of people, when they focus on the short backswing, this is what happens. When they get set up, they have their racket in front, they completely open, they're not moving their feet enough and they're just stay, staying completely open uh, to their opponent. And then they push the ball on the other side. And if they try to get power on their shots, they muscle the ball and make a lot of mistakes or they still cannot pass the service line. So now, Really, you shouldn't focus on getting the short backswing. Of course, if your backswing is too big and it passes the, the, uh, the line behind you and it goes across your body, that's also bad. But if you look at the pros, they have a pretty big backswing. That's how they generate uh, a lot of power. So now, how do you hit a forehand then? How do you get your backswing? What's, what is it supposed to look like? So uh, for you, really, you should be focusing more on preparation, getting your shoulders sideways and make sure you're getting your a rotation uh, before you hit the ball so you get your unit turn as soon as you get the unit turn and you call your body then you'll be able to uncall and generate a lot of power that's what you should be focusing on not thinking about just literally taking your racket back and keeping it next to your body so this is what you you're it's supposed to look like when you get set up you're turning sideways and your racket is back here you see, the, if you just do the same motion right here without turning, you see how short the backswing looks? Now, if you turn your body, all of a sudden it looks a lot bigger. So now I'll, <laughs> I'll show you another example. All right, hold on. So guys, I'm gonna show you two, two examples. So for example, I'll show you a short backswing. So it looks very short, but I'm facing, the, we'll assume the court is that way. I'm facing the court. So it looks very, very short right now. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna call my body. And you see how much bigger it looks like, but you see I'm getting a sh rotation unit turn where I'm gonna generate power. So do you really have to focus on the uh, racket back and keeping it short or not? I don't think so. So it's really about your uh, unit turn, making sure you're prepared to hit the ball and just keep it. It's, it's very simple as you saw a lot of our videos. You just have to keep your left hand on the racket as you're taking your racket back, which will not allow you to take it too far back. So that already is gonna eliminate the fact that you're not gonna take too big of a backswing. It's gonna be just a regular swing and then you're gonna just drop your racket and go through the ball. So a couple of drills to work on it. I'm gonna throw it out there just for you to realize what do you need to work on? So you can do it on your own. Uh, you just get a few balls and what are you gonna do right now? Uh, I just want you to start already. You can do open or closed stance, it's up to you. You're just gonna start already sideways. Make sure you keep your left hand on the racket. So this is how far your racket is gonna go back. So it's not gonna go further and it's not gonna stay right next to your body. So you wanna pull, you gotta kinda feel how you're pulling your racket. Your back is almost gonna face your opponent. So you're gonna go like this. Then you're gonna drop the ball and then hit it. And we're gonna do it again. You're gonna turn, make sure you watch, look, your racket is uh, back here. You're gonna drop the ball, you're gonna have rotation. Same thing you can do with the close stance. You're gonna turn, but you're gonna transfer your body weight forward with the step as well. So you can do that. Take your racket back. You see the backswing looks pretty big, but not too big, right? Now, next steps, you're gonna do Open stance and close stance, you're gonna alternate. So we're gonna turn sideways, bring our racket back, drop, open stance, which is gonna rotate, then close stance, bring your racket back, make sure it's staying back behind you, drop the ball, and then follow through. And we're gonna repeat it again a couple of times. So you're gonna stay with the close stance, make sure, you, just take time, you know, make sure you don't rush, don't go like this, because you don't know what's happening. So make sure, keep your racket back, make sure it's in the right position, facing the side fence, drop the ball, and then hit it. Uh, we're gonna do another one on the closed stance with the body transfer. So make sure it stays sideways, drop the ball, transfer your body weight forward. Now in the next row, we're actually gonna do it a little quicker. So you do it a few times, make sure 
that your backswing is appropriate. Make sure you're, you're calling your body. Make sure you have your U-turn. That's what you have to focus on. Uh, don't think about just short backswing or big backswing. That's not really how you have to work with it. So uh, next row, we're gonna actually start facing the net. The, uh, the net. We're gonna do split step, turn sideways, drop the ball, hit it. So you see now we gotta really focus on rotating our body when we hit. That's where the power comes from. See, that's where we, when we uncall our body, we get so much power, we get so much control, but at the same time, it looks more natural. As you look back and you saw those slow motions, you can see which one look a lot more natural where the power comes out of the racket. So those simple drills can help you out so much to just get an idea of what do you really have to focus on when you think about the backswing. And now it answer, I hope it answers your question. So you don't sit down and be like, all right, short backswing, big backswing, whatever. You gotta find the unit turn, a proper unit turn, position yourself with the body, with the ball, and you make sure you get your big muscles working during the swing. So that's what's gonna give you power, control, and more natural swing than just thinking about the backswings itself. Guys, hope it helped you out. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time. Now, um, cut it off. There's no kickstart challenge, Sergey.